Where do you sit on soft versus hard magic systems? I think it depends on what you're writing. Mm. I am going to say if you want to use a hard magic system and you're going to outline it like that, you should make it part of the plot. Yeah. Right? Same thing with science. If you're going to be like really big into the science of your story, um, Andy Weir does it beautifully. Yeah. Project Hail, Hail Mary, like... I'm not gonna lie like some of andy weir's books like if i had not taken like the levels of science in college that i did i'd probably be like i don't know what i'm reading yeah but what i really love about andy weir is that even though he spends the time explaining the science like that science ends up circling back and being kind of like oh shit we're fucked yeah yeah i sanderson does that really well like especially in stormlight like the magic system is part of the story hmm. my brother read uh, i haven't read it yet it's uh, christopher Paolini's, uh, fractal noise is that what it's called that sounds familiar I don't think yeah I've heard it yet. he put out a like whatever his science fiction book is and he he texts me at, like in the middle of reading it, and he's like yeah i don't know if i'm smart enough to read this book like i don't really know if i get the science that he's talking about here i'm like that with another author let me find his name real quick yeah i'm a big fan of uh i like hard magic systems but i also like a little bit of like the gandalf stuff where it's like i don't know how he does that he like just shows a, up, like, light, yeah. like, okay, we're good. Yeah, and then he just, like, fights the Balrog with his staff somehow, and you're just like, okay, cool, you know? Yeah, I mean, Harry Potter is also a good soft magic system, even though people are like, it's not soft. It's like, but it is, because it doesn't make sense. You don't yeah. understand. Like, somebody cast a spell. Where did the energy for the spell come from? Like, yeah, it's just somewhere. Yeah, but, like, so Blake Crouch, he's a really good one that I like as well. Um, everybody knows him right now for... The TV show that he came out with, but he wrote a really heavy science book. It's called Upgrade, not the movie. Mm. Yeah, like there were parts in there where I was like, I had to stop and like look something up on Wikipedia because I was like, I think it's this thing. I'm not quite sure. I don't want to be st stupid. But the whole thing is with that book is it's actually like not not to give it away, um, but it's about a guy that basically gets injected with like nanobi nanobots, right? Right. That purposely make him intelligent, and so you can see it in the narrative where he goes to talking like uh, you know your your average pleb, right? To like all the way like where it's like his vernacular is so advanced. Where I'm sitting here being like, I don't know what the fuck you just said. Right? Like, what are you saying? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I I don't know if I could ever uh, I don't know if I could ever write a sci-fi like that. I it it's too advanced for me. That's why I like fantasy because I can just make it all up. No. Yeah. I think. I think the great thing about um, science fiction is that at some point it can become science reality, right? Because mm -hmm. we see science fiction as like, there's no way we could do that. It's like, oh, but give us 10 years because we'll want to do it. Yeah. Uh, like, you know, cell phones, right? Like, you know, I think mm -hmm. our first, ex like, I can't remember what movie it was where they were just having like little tiny devices and stuff like that. And we're like, we can do that. We, we can make it happen. And so that's yeah. like, you know, yeah. Yeah, we, I, so my wife and I recently opened a bookstore in our small town and uh, we, my brother was up there. He was helping me do some stuff. And my another brother called me and I answered it on my watch, like an Apple watch. Mm -hmm. And then we just had this whole conversation of like, we live in Star Trek. Like we're we there, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, yeah, that's, that's one of my favorite things about Star Trek too, is that it's like, this could be the future. Like this mm -hmm. is like where we're headed. So yeah. Yeah. Picard had his tablet in his office, like just going through reports and stuff like that. I've got three tablets now. Yeah. Yeah, just having the whole, like, remember you used to, like, having a calculator watch was fun, and now we can I thought that was so cool. Like, you yeah. could, like, to do times table on my wrist. Man, man, so cool. Yeah. yeah. Now I look back, and I'm like, oh, yeah, you totally were a nerd, like, because I wanted a calculator watch. Mm-hmm.